Hi everyone, this is Junk from Junk Mods, and today we'll be looking at how to run total conversions for Doom and Doom 2 in Odomex on a modded original Xbox. So, Odomex is a free and open source port for the classic first person shooter Doom. Uh, Odomex's goal is to emulate the feel of and retain many aspects of the original Doom executables while offering a broader expanse of security features, personal configuration, gameplay options, and editing features. So Odomex can run on a wide range of operating systems and hardware, uh, so players are typically able to play on pretty much any platform they want to. So in this case we're going to use the original Xbox port of Doom, or uh, of Odomex, uh, which to my knowledge is one of the only ways to play Doom on the console, aside from using uh, DOS Xbox or uh, playing the full um, metal cased retail collector's edition uh, copy of uh, Doom 3, as it has those two packed in. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the term TC, or total conversion, uh, here's what Wikipedia has to say about it. Total conversion is a mod of an existing game that replaces virtually all of the artistic assets in the original game, and sometimes the core aspects of gameplay. Total conversions can result in a completely different genre from the original. Uh, often developers intend to sell their total conversion as a standalone product, which necessitates the need to replace any original remaining assets uh, to avoid copyright infringement, and since most total conversions only share the engine in common with the original game, if the engine becomes free software or freeware, the total conversion can be playable without having to own the original game. Uh, Counter-Strike, one of the most popular online games ever made, uh, was originally a Half-Life total conversion. It was so popular that numerous official and unofficial Counter-Strike re-releases uh, have been developed throughout the years. So essentially with that in mind, uh, we're going to go ahead and look at how to set up and run some total conversions for Doom uh, and Doom 2 in Odomex. For this tutorial, we need three things. A copy of Odomex to run from the hard drive, uh, genuine Doom and Doom 2 WAD files, and the total conversion files of your choice. So uh, Odomex can be obtained by uh, following the link in the description, and I'll explain where to get the other content from in a moment here. Uh, so today I'm going to show you two different total conversions in this video. Uh, the GoldenEye TC, uh, based on the classic N64 game of the same name, and Chex Quest, which was a free game packed in specially marked boxes of Chex cereal throughout North America in uh, 1996. The easiest legal way to obtain the Doom 1 and 2 wads, which are essentially the core uh, game files themselves, is to purchase them. Uh, there are too many ways to obtain the files to list here, but uh, two easy options right now are through either Steam uh, and or to use the WAD files that are packed in on the Doom 3 Collector's Edition retail Xbox disc. And of course you can also go to uh, the URL I have here, uh, doomwadstation.net and snag them like a pirate, but I'm not condoning this personally, um, so I wouldn't really suggest or recommend it. Now, on a personal note, I grew up loving Doom 1 and Doom 2. Uh, I actually bought my first Xbox just to play Doom 3, because I had heard it was coming to Xbox, and I was in high school at the time, didn't have enough money for my part-time job to afford uh, a PC rig capable of uh, running it at the time, and when Doom 3 launched, it was an absolute technical beast. So, I mean, even just upgrading my video card itself was pretty close to the price of a new Xbox at the time. So with that said, uh, I own the Metal Case Collector's Edition from day one, and I'm going to be using the WAD files packed in on that disc, and I'll actually show you uh, where to obtain them from here. Okay, so I'm going to show you with the uh, Unleash X file manager here <clears throat> exactly where to get the, uh, the files from. Uh, so I have um, my ripped copy of my legit uh, Doom 3 disc uh, on my hard drive here. So we're going to go ahead and head into, where is it, it's base, classic, W. So there's your Doom 1 and Doom 2 wads. Uh, so what you need to do is go over to Odomax and just put them in the root of Odomax. Um, so when Odomax boots up, it's set up to uh, go ahead and look to this location for these WAD files. Uh, over here, I, um, I'm i not sure if this actually comes in the uh, package in the link in the description because I haven't really used it in a long time, but uh, I also have Free Doom here 
and uh, regular Doom 1. Uh, the Doom WAD included on the disc for uh, Doom 3 is actually Ultimate Doom, so and it's uh, compatible with far more TCs. So I, I rarely use the Doom 1 one, but uh, it's good to have anyway. So that's pretty much uh, all you need to know about that, so just make sure it's in the root. Uh, when you get the TCs, they need to go in the root as well, um, and I'll explain that in a minute here. Alright, so this is what Odomex looks like. And uh, you go ahead and it's pretty straightforward to use. Um, you move the cursor around the screen with the left thumbstick and uh, you select things with the A button. It's dead simple. Um, so as you mouse over the icons, if you look in the lower left hand corner, uh, you're going to see uh, what you, each of them are really. So you're going to want to go to the uh, gold O. It says start solo game. Uh, the rest of these are used for querying servers and settings and whatnot. Um, so just to keep it simple, we'll do it quickly here. And this is with the default settings in Odomex. So this is the way it's going to look if you um, go ahead and load Odomex straight out of, you know, unpacking it and throwing it on the hard drive. So, uh, as we can see here, we have the Doom and Doom 2 wads I was talking about, as well as the other ones there. And then we have the, I believe they're PWADs, um, which I've already put in here. So we have the Chex Quest one, and then the three GoldenEye ones. So uh, we're going to check out Chex Quest first. So to do that, um, it's a Doom 1 mod. So we're going to pick Doom. We're going to designate, come on you bastard, uh, Chex Quest. There we go. And then we're going to go down here. To launch and just give it a few seconds and I'm not cutting this part it's this is all real time okay so there we go no problem look at that oh boy. <laughs> now, I never really played this back in the day because I was not aware of it um, oh wow this is different <clears throat> Uh, let's take all the violence out of here. Take all the fun bits out. Okay. <laughs> it, it's pretty cool though. Honestly, I've never really looked at this one. It's apparently pretty popular, but... Uh... Oh, okay, so that's the shotgun with the latency and all that. That's cool. Alright, well, yeah. Check's quest. You know what it is. So, I'm gonna quit and go back to the launcher. So, it's just uh, pause. Select that, and then it says press Y to quit. So we're going to do that. And there we go. Alright, so now to run Goldeneye, which is the other one I wanted to uh, show you briefly. Um, it's a little different. You see they have the uh, three um, WAD files there. And uh, it's a Doom 2 TC, so we're going to pick Doom 2. And then to kind of show you what happens when you just load like a single asset. I'm going to select this one here and launch it. And it will launch, but uh, you'll see what's going on in a second here. Oh cool, so we have a splash, Goldeneye, wonderful. Okay, Doom 2 Goldeneye. Let's go to New Game. And yeah, let's do Agent. And, uh oh. Oh crap. This looks like the start of Doom 2, with uh, Goldeneye HUD. That's exactly what it is, because that's all we told it to load was the uh, the HUD assets, really. And I believe the audio... I'm not sure, I can't really hear the cap right now. Anyway, so that sucks, we don't want that. We want to load the whole thing. So, of course, uh, as you're going to see me do in a second here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just do the same thing, but select all three. So, let's see here. One, and then one, no, two, three, and we're going to launch it. Yeah. All right. Come on. Oh, wonderful. Get the splash, new game, get up agent. Oh, snap. It's the dam. So there we go, we were able to uh, load all the file assets correctly. 
and what we're presented with is uh, the TC in all its glory. And this one's actually pretty cool. Um, I'm not sure which version, which beta this is. I can't recall. It's in the file name. But uh, I think this came out in 09. There, there have been several revisions since then, but I knew this one worked uh, from having used it previously. I haven't dicked around with this stuff in a long time, though. But, uh, yeah. It's pretty sweet. So. We're just going to hit Y to quit. And to exit out to our dash of choice, whatever that may be set to, uh, we're just going to go to the little door here. And uh, that's all she wrote. So uh, there you have it, uh, how to run total conversions for Doom and Doom 2 using Otomex on a modded original Xbox. I uh, hope that helps out a little bit, and if you have any questions or anything to add, please leave a comment, and as always, thanks for watching.